you don't have to have a Rolex on your hand and a fancy car and your own office and all these different cool things to be considered a successful real estate agent. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in this video. Today I'm going to share a few strategies and tips that have worked with me in my business and I'm hoping that if you apply them to yours they will help grow your business. If you're new to this channel, I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey and I'm also an aspiring entrepreneur. I share my experiences, strategies, and tips with you guys and hope that they help you grow your businesses as well. If you've been watching this channel, you know that I'm a newer real estate agent. I just hit my year mark at the end of June and business has never been better. Um, it's growing each and every month and I've been sharing my success with you guys. My first tip is very simple. You need to get yourself out there. And that requires you to talk to anybody and everybody that you know or don't know about real estate. This does not mean you need to sell to everybody and try to get everybody to buy or sell a house, but you need to let anybody that you have a good conversation with know what you do, and that is that you're a real estate agent. So whether you're going out for coffee, you meet a stranger, and you guys end up having a five minute conversation, let them know what your occupation is. Maybe they know somebody or maybe they are themselves looking to buy or sell something in a couple months, maybe a year, and it's just good to let them know what you do. If you have friends or family, a lot of times agents have people that end up buying or selling and not with them because they didn't know that they were real estate agents. So also tell people you do know and also tell other people that you don't know that you meet for the first time. But your goal in that first year is to just talk to as many people as possible and let them know what you do. And if they need your services, they know who to contact. The next thing I would like to discuss with you guys is lead generation. There's so many different ways you can do it. There's cold calling, there's mailers, there's door knocking, there's paid advertisement like Zillow, there's referrals from other agents. There's several different ways. And on this tip, I don't want to tell you guys a specific one, but what I want to tell you guys is once you see things are working, stick to those things. Pick two, three, maybe four ways of lead generation and just stick to them. Um, I've seen both sides of it where some agents find one thing that works and that's all they do and That's good and all that you found something that worked But if that is your only lead source then your business may be dry You might only have one lead coming in or two leads or maybe one deal You want to have as many options for lead generation to come in now on the other hand if you have your hands involved in ten different sources of leads it can confuse you you don't have a really focused mindset and it tends to drain you out um, and you won't really see exponential growth in these different areas. So I've found success when I really honed in on two or three ways of lead generation and my business has, has been doing great. Um, I am exploring a few different things, but once I find what I like to do, what works for my business, I stick to those two or three things. The next tip I have for you guys is about presentation. Um, you don't have to have a Rolex on your hand and a fancy car and your own office and all these different cool things to be considered a successful real estate agent. You also don't need to sell millions of dollars of real estate and have a household name before people do business with you. But you need to present yourself in a way that somebody will want to do business with you. So for me, I don't, I, I like suits and all that, that's for me, but I do suits, but I also wear a polo like this sometimes. But you'll never see me take like a listing appointment with a t-shirt. Um, you'll never see me, uh, you know, just look in a tacky way. Um, as you guys can see, I need a haircut, which is on a schedule for tomorrow. But you want to present yourself in a way that somebody will want to do business with you. Show up early, you know, have information for them to provide value for them. But don't just give them the same listing appointment packet that every other agent is giving to them. Present yourself in a way that you look trustworthy, that you look like a person that is nice and caring, that actually is going to give a crap about what this customer needs but also present yourself like you look like you know what you're doing look like a real estate agent look like a professional that has a business that knows the market this goes a long way um, if you look new then people will look at you that way um, I've had one or two deals where people didn't realize I was new and they found afterwards and they were very impressed and that's what you want um, when I was in the military we had a saying um, that you didn't want the drill sergeant to remember your name as long as possible because you fit in you look like a soldier they didn't have a reason to pick on you or call you out or drop you make you do push-ups and as a real estate agent that's what you want to do you want to yes you want to stand out and be the best agent possible but you also don't want to look too salesy and you also on the other side don't want to look tacky like you don't care about your job 
a tip I want to talk about is leverage. As a new agent, it's hard to get a lot of business at once. My goal for any person that I talk to that wants to get into business is to focus on getting your first deal first. Not a bunch of business, but just your first deal. You want to use that to leverage the rest. So once you get your first sale, whether buy or sell, you can tell others that you have sold real estate. You can tell others that you've been in this neighborhood, that you know how to sell real estate and close deals in this area. So you want to learn how to use leverage. Um, for me, uh, just recent listing I had, I just door knocked, cold called, all these different things to get this one deal. And once I did, I closed that house in 30 days. As soon as I got that listing, I didn't wait till I sold it. I mailed out to the whole neighborhood and I talked to the neighbors and then I got the house next door and now I'm listing their house too. Um, I've also gotten from open house and that's at that same house I was listing, I got a buyer from that. So that's what you wanna do is leverage one deal and make that one deal into three or four deals indirectly. So learn how to use leverage in your business. Don't worry so much about getting in this neighborhood and this neighborhood and doing all these different types of lead generation. What you wanna do is focus on getting this one deal your first deal, I know a lot of agents will tell you not to focus on a deal, but when you're new and you only have one deal, focus on that one deal and find a way to leverage this one deal to get other deals. This next tip is kind of, I know I said I wasn't going to talk too much about lead generation sources, but I believe social media is, is a great lead source. Um, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all these different ones. I'm really focusing on YouTube, Instagram right now, and Facebook. And I've gotten leads from Twitter, I've gotten leads from Facebook, and I've gotten leads from Instagram. Um, and sometimes it's not about a real estate post, it's just somebody saw me, they saw that they liked me on me, they saw who I was, they saw I was doing real estate and they reached out. Sometimes it's a DM, sometimes it's a comment, sometimes it's me interacting with somebody. But I've gotten free business from social media. Not ads, nothing like that, just me connecting, commenting, and DMing people from people reaching out to me, me presenting a page that people are curious about what I do and what I know. Social media is a great way for you to build an audience and build you know, just a network of people that know now that you are a real estate professional. So I definitely think that if you're a newer agent, you need to, whether you have 50 followers or 10,000, um, I think right now I have like 1,200, not that much, and last year I was at zero. Um, so you can grow up really fast, but that didn't stop me from getting leads, so I definitely think you should be on social media. Next tip is personal advice for you guys. I've found that it has helped me mentally and emotionally, and it's to work with clients that you want to work with. In this business, you have the, the ability to work with people you want to. You don't have to work with people that you hate or that you don't want to work with. You do want to grow your business and you want to push yourself, but don't string yourself out working with, let's be frank, horrible clients. You want people that value your advice. You want people that value your time. Um, you can't grow a healthy business if you're not working with the right clients. So make sure you're working with people that are gonna, you know, they don't do exactly what you say all the time, but they, they heed to your advice. Um, you also want to work with willing and ready buyers, meaning you want to work with people that want to buy real estate and they're not just trying to kind of fill the market out and they're just, you know, wasting your time. You definitely want to follow up with people like that that are curious. But with your day in and day out time, you want to make sure you're with, working with people that are ready to buy or sell right now. Um, and that will come into play when they get offers or when they get a house offer accepted. You want them to be a motivator to buy or sell it. So you also, I found more success with people that want to work with me. Um, they're not always my friends. You know, they're not always people that I know. Um, but people that, you know, like my personality, that we communicate well with that you know we we talk about other things other than real estate we have a really good smooth way of communicating um if you feel uncomfortable the whole process then it's probably not a good client to work with not even that they're not a good client but you guys are probably not matching up well but you want to work with people that want to work with you um and that you work well with so i definitely think i've maybe dealt with one or two clients that weren't always a pleasure to work with but most of my deals have been with people that I did not know, but we ended up communicating really well and we were able to get to a deal because of that smooth communication. This last tip is probably the most important one and I'm working on right now is to build your business now how you want it to be 10 years from now. So if you don't want to build your business on cold calling and door knocking, don't do it now. If you want to build your business on social media and you know, just the internet, then do that now. If you want to work nine to five, do it now. If you want to, you know, work every day of the week, but you're only working two hours, do that now. Whatever you want your business to be on, start building that now, even if you don't have clients or it doesn't work now, because 
down the line, it's, when you get more business, it's kind of hard to change how your business is thriving. And what I noticed is when I built it on certain lead generations, I was not liking the quality of leads I was getting. I wasn't liking my work schedule. I wasn't liking the flow. And that's because I didn't do it on purpose, but I built a business, and not the business that I wanted for my life. So I think from the jump, you should definitely, that's my advice to you is to start building your business from day one when you get your license the way that you want your business to operate. If you want to, if you like, I don't like waking up early in the morning. I wake up like 7.30, but I like starting around 8.30, 9 o'clock. I should have started that in the beginning. I was trying to wake up early in the morning. I hated it. And I was doing lead generation sources that didn't match how I wanted to build my business. And I didn't have the results I wanted. As soon as I switched to a business the way I wanted to flow, um, my business has grown exponentially. So build your business from the jump the way you want it and it'll be an easier smoother process when you start getting a lot of business and when you start getting a lot of clients um you really like where you're at if you like this video please like and comment below also if you like videos related to real estate or entrepreneurship please subscribe i really appreciate it i'm looking to grow this right now it's a passion project and i'm looking to just help and um, share my experiences with others but i really appreciate it. i would love to grow this channel build the audience and just you know share and reach as many people as possible if you like this video again, I appreciate it. Share it with somebody else. Until next time.